Your thoughts about, about this um, home game, significantly home game coming up? Well, Airdrie are obviously a very good team. They've had a, a couple of really good results on the road lately, beating Dun United and um, beating Dunfermline. Two clean sheets, so it's going to be a tough task for us at home. Um, Airdrie, are, as I said, are very good. It looks like they're going to push the top four now for promotion, really. Um, we've just got to hang in there and, and, and hopefully keep away from the bottom, you know. Yeah, I mean, you're still just a stubborn one point inside the, the bottom two. I know you'd love to get out of there. Absolutely. I mean, it's, um, it's been a long road, isn't it? Difficult road. We're coming to the business end of the season now. So all focused on them, try to get these wins and try to push yourself up the league. As you say, that is concerning. Our home form is no good. Um, so hopefully we can uh, um, sort that out on Saturday. And survival is um, central to the, what the chairman has said is, is the club's plan. But the plan is to get some money on board and then try to get back to the the Premiership. So you know, survival is important this year, isn't it? Really important, isn't it? It's, but obviously, it's, um, you know, I'm more concerned what's happening on Saturday. But um, but yeah, you know, it's, we're in a difficult position, aren't we? We've been in this position for most of the season. But yet the, the league is very congested down there and if you can string a couple of wins together you can put yourself into, mid, into the pack. That's what we're looking to do on Saturday. Uh, tough match, Adrian had a good team as I said. But we're in a nice spot of form myself on the back of a good result at Morton. So, you know, um, well, let's go for it. It's now emerged that the uh, battery farm deal is potentially worth 3.4 million. Um, obviously, a lot of that would have to go to paying off debt and, and, and so on and so forth. But um, that's a lot of money, even a slice. It's a lot of money that you could use in the next transfer window if you're going to make a push for the top league. Yeah, I mean, look, um, first things first for me, but definitely, obviously, it's a big thing for the club. Isn't it? It's massive for the club to get this through, and hopefully, they do that. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll worry about that in the summer. But hopefully, they get their, they get their permission, which I think. Um, you know, as I said, they got it through the last time, didn't they? But, um, they'll have to go through that process again. Unfortunately, I'm sure they'll be successful. That's grand. Thank you very much. Thank you. How are the injuries coming along, Duncan? Is it cleaning up? Injuries. Um, I've got Morgan and Nico possibly back for the bench. Possibly they were on the grass today, only doing um, a modified training. They'll be back on the grass tomorrow, so I'm hoping that they two will get on the bench for me. So that's at least two, hopefully. It's not confirmed, but I'll, I'll hopefully certainly one of them. Hopefully, we'll get on the get on the bench for me. Unfortunately, we've got another injury, and Sean McAllister pulled his thigh. So uh, another probably couple of weeks for him. So unfortunately, we've got uh, he's he's out missing as well. And, you know, obviously, it's probably maybe his best game for me at the weekend. Scored his first goal, so yeah, big blow for us. Um, you, you said last week we were hoping to maybe bring more players in. You did add uh, Sammy, obviously, from Livingston. That's a That's right. good addition. Yeah, looks, looks good in training. Nice. Um, you know, it was, uh, we were looking in for players. He, he came, he become available. So we felt, yeah, we, we looked at the footage and we liked him. So, you know, yeah, he looks like a good addition to us. He's trained well and he's definitely been in contention for Saturday. Just what I was meaning to ask you, Duncan, um, last week as well, and, and was your son sort of training here and is there any sort of scope to, for Cameron to come on? Yeah, board? there is scope. Um, mm. He's been training. Yeah. Um, he's, he's been training for the last, probably the month, last month now. Um, obviously, you know, he's a Newcastle player, but we, we, he got released for his contract or we negotiated his release for his contract. So he's a free agent, so he's training and he's got to he's got to do twice as much as anybody else to get a contract here. <laughs> that's what I've told him, that's, that's the right way. If he's, he's a gaffer's son, so he's got to do twice as much. But he's been doing well. Yeah. Is, it, is he coming up? How is he feeling sort of fitness-wise and whatever he's doing? Yeah, we, did, we, did, we, done a, um, we played a bounce game a couple of weeks ago um, against Forest Mechanics. Won 5-0. He did really well in the game, really well. Um, so did Adam Brooks scored a hat trick and Bim um, Peppel mm. scored uh, a couple himself. That was a couple of weeks ago, so that was good. But other guys, another bounce game. Unfortunately, we had to cancel because we had no players, as you know. So we've got another bounce game organised for Tuesday uh, against one of the local teams. So um, he'll get another run out there.
But yeah, look, there's always there's a, there's a chance because um, you know we're armed into the bare bones as well. So you know that's a consideration to me for me to make. Any other players expected in before the weekend? Do you think, Duncan? Yeah, I've got another player down there at the moment um, who's uh, training with us. Yeah, but I brought, I, brought, I brought him in for the Czech Republic, but he actually was for London, you know, team doing any bit. He was in the Czech Republic, going to sign for a team. We managed to convince him to come over here. Uh, so he's been training the last, last two or three, four days with us. Um, picked up a wee bit of a knock on his patella, on his knee. It was only precautionary, so he never trained today. So I was hoping that he was going to be involved for Saturday, if we could get a deal done. But that's probably put it back a little bit now because we can't. We'd have to make sure that he's 100% fit. So there's there's definitely there's scope for another player. Just final one for me. As you say, Airdrie have been in good form, a couple of really good results recently. But you know, one defeat and six from you, and the manner of that result at Morton, you know, it was really impressive. Took control of the game after Billy's goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought we did. I thought we restricted them um, to not too many chances at all. Although they do put you under pressure the way they play. Because of course you're all, you know, that, that, that left back can throw the ball in for any, anywhere, couldn't he? You know, so any time the ball goes out of play, you know, he's, he's going to put you under pressure. So part of the game plan was keeping the ball on the pitch. Um, so I think that worked well in the main, but the boys defended the box really, really well. Really well we defended the box well. I wasn't too uh, happy with our, our, our possession game. Our attacking patterns weren't quite there, but it was a broken... Morton make it like that a broken game, don't they? I think they did the same against Dun United the other night. Here. So they, d- they do that against all the teams. But hopefully we can go back to a good technical game on Saturday. But obviously the result was fantastic at Morton. That's the main thing at this time of the season. Yeah, we want good performance. But we want to get to pick up the three points as well. And, um, and, and hopefully we can um, get back to our passing game on Saturday and pick up the three points at home. Because it's been a long road at home, hasn't it? Without a victory. And um, you know, hopefully we can turn that around. Can I just check Sean's injury? Is it is it an unknown timescale or? Um, I would say that we think Sean's about ten days, maybe, but it's a wee right. bit unknown because he's uh, not had a, he's not had a scan yet. But they're going to look. It could be a recurrence of an old injury he's had. He had, right. had problems with the thigh before before he come here at Everton. I think he was out for a few months, so mm-hmm. we're hoping it's not as bad as that. He's reporting it's not as bad as that, but we don't really know. Mm-hmm. I'm hopeful it's ten days. Yeah, yeah. It could be three months. We don't know. We don't know until we get it checked properly. I mean, just in general, it's incredible the number of injuries you've had. Have you, have you seen anything like this before, you know, in terms of... Well, no, my management career, no. Um, we've, had, we've got a lot of players out of this, I mean, really, and there's obviously we've got but guys long-termers as well, like Charlie Gimmel's out for the season. Yeah, obviously, yeah. We, had to, we had to send back Jez Mullins out for the season. So Harry Ludovica out for the season. We've got long staff probably coming back in another four weeks, maybe. Or Nathan Sean another couple of weeks. Um, I'm not sure, maybe it's the adaptation of the kids coming for you know, the, the kids' football into, into, yeah. a, into a man's environment. We were training really hard. That's all I can think about with McAllister and uh, Mullins. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, yeah, but, and, and look at your impacts. Like, so Ch- Charlie, Charlie was, a, was, a, was a twisted knee at a broth. Mm-hmm. Um, Louis Longstaff was on the Astro Tough here to game, twisted, caught his knee, twisted. Mm-hmm, yeah. So you kind of don't have impacts, can you? No. Yeah, things happen, didn't they? And they're twists. Um, so yeah, you know, we're, going, we're going through a really, really bad run at the Injuries, it's, it's, it's hurting us. And just the last one, that, um, your son Callum, I know it's different. Cameron. Cameron, sorry. Cameron. Sorry. sorry. I know, I did know that. <laughs> I know you know it. I um, knew you knew that. I, um, just, it, I know it's difficult because uh, the, the father-son thing, you, I mean, you will be harder on him, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, but can you can you talk about what he's like as a player and you know just what he what his yeah, potential well, is? You know? Well, he's got great potential. In my eyes, yeah. he's always he always become his dad. Right? So I I'm, I've got um, the blinkers on, but I'm also a professional coach as well. Yeah. And uh, Cameron's a good player. He's big, six foot five, left footed, mm-hmm. technically as good as you're going to get. He's a typical target man. Um, no bless me, great amount of pace. But um, good technically and a good finisher. Yeah. Um, he's just never really had a break, you know. Mm-hmm. Just knew he had that chance. Was a lot of like I tell everybody, big guys come late. Yeah. You got to wait for yeah. them before they mature mm-hmm. until they mature it. Yeah. They're no they're no early kids. They, they come late. And the Cameron's been like a, a, he's always been tall, gangly, leggy, same as me. 
in that respect. Not got the aggression I've got, obviously, or, or had. Not got so much aggression now. <laughs> um, but so he's a late developer. Yeah. Is that something you've tried to put in him, a wee bit of the aggression, or you just let him be his own? He may be a bit be his own man, but yeah, right. certainly heading the ball. Cause I love heading the ball. So that's, I'm talking about that aggression. You know, ah, that yeah. Aggressive to go and head the ball. Because mm-hmm. obviously kids now can't head the ball, can they? Because nobody's practicing. In fact, I'm not even sure if you're allowed to head the ball in the academies. No. So it's drifting out of the game. I mean, obviously, Cameron's six foot five. He's got an asset. You know what I mean? So he needs to use that. He needs to, he needs to be better at it. Yeah. We're trying to coach him that now because yeah. they don't get coached at in the academies because they don't head the ball. Yeah. 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 So he's definitely got a potential. Um, he's 20, coming up 21, hardly played any football, trains well, dedicated young man. Um, so yeah, I, you know, he's definitely on my mind. But I need to make sure I get it right, eh, because you're opening yourself up then, Aye. signing your son. You know, but I've got to make sure that he's better than all the rest and even better again. Yeah. Twice as good. So he's got to run twice as hard. Twice the distance and scored two, <laughs> twice as many goals <laughs> than anybody else. No pressure. To, to make sure that I, I get it right, you know. Aye. But certainly got potential. Yeah. I'm a big believer in them. Always have been. Good stuff. Yeah, great. But you'd love to bring him on a deal before the end of the season, yeah. Well, if he, like, one of the reasons why I had the bounce games as well to see if we could shape him up and get him up to, up to speed mm-hmm. and play the bounce games and get him up and running. His first game, he was fantastic. By far, he, he, he was, if not the best player in the pitch by a distance. Although he never scored a goal. But he set four of them up. So, and that was his first game for months and months. And he was at four for, never really got a chance. They played an older player, um, so Cameron never really got a look in. That doesn't mean anything to me. Davy Witherspoon sat in the house. Davy Witherspoon sat in the house and never mm-hmm. got a game for anybody. Nobody mm-hmm. thought he was good enough. He went on to Dungeon United, and he's got a big move. So, um, no, so he's, um, I, I, I think he's got a chance yet, and I think. Um, once we get through a few bounce games, we can re- re- have another look at it. Once he scores a few hat tricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I just ask one final thing? A couple of people mentioned yesterday, including the chairman at the meeting last night, about Cami Kerr. Uh, he was speaking to him and how he's went into midfield and been seamless. He's, he seems to be enjoying it now. He does, doesn't he? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we put him in there because of the emergency, really, and that's where, that's where, that's where we, we've got to yeah. that because he, he, you know, we had injuries to the back line. Uh, yeah, the midfield, the midfield was decimated, wasn't it? I mean, uh-huh. Charlie was out, Nathan yeah. was out, and, and Max was, was suspended. Yeah. So yeah, no, he's done really well, really good, and a good fella. Eh? Mm-hmm. Good player, first and foremost, he's a good player, but a good guy. Yeah. Good guy who wants to work as hard as he possibly can, and you can see that, and that, and that goes right through the group. They're the type of boys that I want to work with. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.